Um, okay, so we're going to be starting off with the small ornate waterfall die set. So here is what it looks like. I've, sh I've shown you that already. So you need to die cut one of those and then five of your main pieces. So you'd be using the outline to do the purple. But I've used the purple here and the inner one for your patterned paper or directly onto your photographs. If you're using it on anything that's directional or if you have a photograph, make sure it's in that orientation. So you'd, you'd pop it down on your photograph like that with the curvy bits at the bottom. Otherwise, it will be an upside down waterfall. <laughs> defying gravity okay so <laughs> i've die cut one of those five of these plus my five mats and i've popped them in the order that i want them to flow in there we go that is the order i think yep move those aside just pop those there and then two of these little thingies here using this die little thingies <laughs> And I have a little cut apart B. So let's get started. So I'm going to grab my bone folder and I'm just going to fold this towards myself. And then I'm going to do exactly the same on all the other score lines. And I'm just making sure that it's lined up either side before I press it down mm -hmm. completely. So again, yeah, it's a bit of a nightmare trying to work out how to make this from scratch, you know. So it's oh, really it's, good. yeah that you could just do that and then just do this just to get that exercised and again this complements the larger version of this as well so they're both exactly the same okay so we're going to fold this forward and keep that forward and you should have the word pull just here oh yes you can put some ink over there if you want it to be a little bit more prominent mm -hmm. okay so we're moving over now to our two little squares that fold over so let's uh, We've got some shows. great, great ideas coming through for the ah, bumblebee yeah. stamp. I Love need to reading. go do the comments later. Yeah. So, okay. So this is where the magic sort of happens at the end, but we're getting it ready now. Okay. So these attach onto this section here mm -hmm. at the back here. Okay. So I'm just going to do a dry run. So I have that, and I'm hoping you'll be able to see how it's the score lines sticking out slightly. So yeah. that's giving that a bit of space for when it goes around here, because it's this this larger section at the back there that's going to slide up and down. Right. That's going to give the space. So I'm just going to add my glue now, but I'm not going straight up to the score line. The light, my light just turned off again. Oh, don't um, worry. We can still see perfectly. It's I'm okay. Being haunted by something. <laughs> there we Maybe go. it's on a time thing. So, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's a touch screen thing. So, it's got those touch buttons that you can go along and then down. Oh, and yes. Got yeah. a to play with. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, those two are now on there. So, we can leave those alone. So, I've just die cut all of these out. It was really quick to do and um, the start at the bottom now so i'm going to take my bottom one so if you have a certain order you want them to be in pop them in the order yeah take them from the bottom right so we have this section here the first the first one mm -hmm. so i'm going to add my glue along there i'm not going to go over the score line at all if you want to you, you can use some red tape but i would add extra glue just to keep keep it safe because I, for me personally, if I use tape, it falls apart a few years later. So yeah, I'm just going to pop this on. I'm going to go straight up to the score line and I'm going to line it up as well to make sure everything is straight. I can just about see the score line there. So I'm happy that that's in the right place. And I'm going to go up to the second segment, add my glue, just do this one at a time, take, take from the bottom. And the process is exactly the same as you work your way up to the top. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'm going to actually put this B on this pull bit oh. here. You can right pull on above it if you want to. If you have some tiny little letters, you can add that there. So I'm going to glue that on once it's in situ. Okay, so I do have a small album that I'm currently working on. This is okay, so the only place I'm adding glue are on these little flaps here. So all of this needs to be glue free, otherwise it won't move up and down. Mm -hmm. And then we're just going to pop this on there. I want to leave enough room for my B as well. Oh, of course, yes. Because you want that, I guess, hidden there. when it's closed. That's right. So I'm just going to pop a bit of glue there. I think I will probably try and get a silver pen and I'll right pull just on there. Yeah. 
Okay, so this has had a bit of time to dry now. So the bee hasn't, but I'll, I'll give that a good test. And there we have. Love um, that. There we go. I think the, the glue is still wet there on where I've glued it to the page. Okay, so that is a small ornate waterfall album. Again, this is going to look perfect inside your mini albums and on um, cards as well, card mm -hmm. fronts.